Hello everyone. I am Dr. Harvis Pantaki, Senior Consultant and Chief of Adult Cardiac Anesthesia Services at Sir H and Reliance Foundation Hospital. I am going to be talking about anesthesia for one of the most commonest heart surgeries done in the world. That is the bypass surgery. So bypass surgery or a coronary artery bypass graft is nothing but a method by which the surgeon bypasses the existing blockages in the heart by connecting new supply to the heart muscle. Do you know that one of the commonest causes of sudden death in our country still remains a heart attack? Research says that 50% of patients can't even make it to the hospital. People who reach the hospital should be considered lucky and be grateful to God. So any kind of symptoms like say chest pain, breathlessness, fainting episodes, acidity, fast heartbeats should not be ignored at all and you should rush to the hospital as soon as possible and consult a specialist. You will be subjected to a battery of investigations and coronary angiography might be required in most cases which will not only confirm the heart has blockages or not but it will also tell you if the patient needs a bypass surgery or not people still have this misconception that a bypass surgery is a very high risk surgery and patients do not make it because of the complexity of the surgery and risk of anesthesia but let me clear this misconception once and for all statistics have shown that a bypass surgery has got 99% success rate with negligible risk of anesthesia in able hands though all bypass surgeries are done under complete general anesthesia so the patient is not aware of anything what is done to him most patients get admitted a day prior to the surgery when a thorough pre anesthetic checkup is done on them where the minutest details of patient's history vital signs and all his investigations are made note of all these records are fed in our computerized software so they are easily accessible to all typically the patient comes to the operation theater calm and composed because of the anti anxiety medications which we have given them a night prior or in the morning we attach all the routine monitors like the blood pressure cuff the electrocardiogram and the pulse oximeter which measures the oxygen level on them sometimes even after coming to the theater some patients are a little more apprehensive because of the ot atmosphere so we give them some more anti anxieties to calm them down once this is done then we use a very thin needle to give local anesthesia at two places one is in the hand and the other one is in the neck after confirming that the skin and the surrounding tissues are completely numb we put two small catheters now catheters are nothing but they are thin plastic sheets one which we put in the hand measures the blood pressure beat to beat monitoring happens throughout the surgery and the one which is put in the neck it measures your heart's pressure again continuously during the surgery once we are done with these two small injections we give complete general anesthesia to the patient now traditionally the bypass surgeries were there the heart was made to stop and the heart lung machine was used to take over its function but now since almost 15 to 20 years most surgeries are done on beating heart that is the patient's heart is not stopped at all and continues to beat throughout the bypass surgery similarly the anesthesia technique the drugs which we use and the skill set all have evolved to make this beating heart cabg a complete success the drugs which are used nowadays are completely pain free they are cardio stable means that does not cause any change in the patient's heart condition it is free from all kind of allergic reactions and they are easily available they are given by computerized pumps which ensure the precise dose and the volume calculations hence there is no chance of an overdose or an underdose the equipments used in our operation theater are world class and probably one of the best in our country to ensure a smooth and effortless conduct of anesthesia the surgery typically lasts for 3 to 4 hours during which the patient's pulse blood pressure heart's pressure oxygen level urine output temperature all are strictly monitored continuously all these values get recorded electronically in our system the new grafts which the surgeon uses to bypass the blockages are taken mostly from the patient's chest arteries or rarely from the hands or legs depending on the patient's clinical condition after the surgery is over the patient gets shifted to the icu the patient does not recollect anything what he has gone through in the operating room 
including the two injections he might not even remember that he wakes up straight in the icu once the surgery is over icu stays typically around for 2 to 3 days where they are again continuously monitored by dedicated and trained icu staff and in 6 to 7 days patients are generally discharged safe and sound special attention is paid to ensure that the patient is pain free not only during the surgery but also after the surgery in the icu by using various combination of drugs which are equally safe to give at every stage of the surgery and anesthesia the topmost priority is given to patient safety and all measures are taken to ensure the smooth and efficient conduct of surgery and anesthesia we are doing close to 1000 bypass surgeries in a year and i can proudly say that our success rates are better than the best i hope i have managed to clear most of the doubts in your mind about anesthesia for bypass surgeries but still if you have any other questions you can come up to our anesthesia opd in room number 303 tower building and we will be happy to assist you thank you